Hello Cancer, welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. This is Sophie. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please take a seat. I hope you enjoy this, this reading and I hope that the messages resonate with you. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate it more than you, than you know. I'm overwhelmed, truly. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know where you are in your journey. If you need support or encouragement, also please leave a message below because this community is, you know, for healing and progress on your on your journey and your movement forward, okay? So any anything, any comments, clarification that you would like, please leave in the comments below as well, okay? Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a general reading for Cancer for the remainder of January 2019. This is Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. Okay. the deck we've got strength okay having to go within to achieve balance yep achieve balance in order to come forward with this this courage with this understanding of what the next step is going to be in order to you know move in the direction of your greatest and highest good your current position here is the temperance card being challenged by the queen of cups you are thinking about the fool in your heart. You've got the nine of swords. In the past, in the recent past, we have the lovers. Coming in, we've got death. Mm, I don't like the crookedness. <laughs> um, you see yourself as the queen of swords. In your environment, yep, you've got the Ace of Swords. Makes sense. Makes sense. The fear here is the Knight of Cups, and the potential outcome is the Tower moment. Do not freak out. Do not freak out. <laughs> it's not time to freak out yet. That we have, we still have to clarify. Although I will say, Cancer, that you have, you have an Ace, and literally almost. Every single card is either a court card or a major arcana card. You've only got the nine of swords to indicate what's going on in your heart space. We will not downplay your emotions because it's our emotions that help guide us through these situations, you know? So there's no, but there's, there's this sense of, there's a sense of that the greatest part of this whole process has less to do with what you're feeling and more to do with what's coming towards you. Right, so let's go ahead and, whoa, okay, so you've got the Chariot and the Magician, so we've got, wow, you're manifesting this movement forward, there's something you're doing that's kind of like, again, more Major Arcana, Cancer, this is huge, you're making huge strides, and not just the kind of strides like baby steps, you're moving, what is this? There's obviously a romantic situation here. I'm going to read this as a as a romance as a romance like a love reading because we definitely have this overarching sense of having to pull through some kind of major relationship. You might be dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame, Cancer. Wow. Okay, hold on. I'm going to clarify all of this first. We'll, we'll we'll clarify and talk. So at the bottom of the clarifying deck, we've got the Four of Swords. So you're coming out of some type of heartbreak and you're healing from past hurt, some type of betrayal or some type of wrong that was done to you. You're going within and you're thinking about how you're going to move forward now. Right now, you, right now you're healing. With the Temperance card, you're healing. Um, you're trying to transmute 
these feelings of pain from the past and you're trying to move forward which makes sense with the death card coming in there's this transformation let's see with this temperance we've got the eight of pentacles excuse me so you've been putting in a lot of hard work and you're you've been waiting right you've been really patient along this whole process you planted your seeds you watched them grow and now you're picking the fruits off but this queen of cups is challenging you this queen of cups it could be in a relationship that you have with a water sign another water sign or you know you could consider this a, the relationship that you share with yourself as well going within you've been healing from a lot of trauma especially recent trauma and you've been putting a lot of work into your own self but for some reason there's there's this futility there's this feeling of no matter how hard you try you can never win with the seven of swords you do have deceit and cheating you know so if you are dealing with another individual it could be that this person you feel is up to no good you have a lack of trust in this person that you are in a relationship with or that you are involved with if not this is you this is you playing against yourself there's a major if this is you there's a major transformation going on within and it causes you a lot of anxiety at night because you want the fool you want to be able to take the leap of faith you want it so bad but you're so see you're so anxious maybe you see the truth in something maybe it's hard for you to find happiness being single in the right so you have want you want to take this leap of faith into the hierophant into a long-term commitment into a very guys more major arcana i just want to point that out with the hierophant the moon the sun with the moon and the sun along with the lovers we do have divine divine masculine divine feminine you know twin flame soulmate energy here with the hierophant we have the potential for marriage with the, with the lovers we have a divine union this will resonate for you particularly strongly if you are dealing with someone who has strong leo in their chart if you have strong leo in your chart cancer then this is a, a self-love reading this is a, a healing reading this is you healing from the past from a past relationship something that went wrong and now you're caught in this in this weird cycle of feeling hope like not hopeless but feeling like any kind of long-standing commitment that you want to take later is just not going to come to you because you're trying to find happiness in being single but it's just really hard or maybe you recently separated from this person and you see that they're happy being single and it just it's messing you up like you're trying to keep it together you're trying to look like you've got it together but it's so hard and then you see this other person that you were head over heels in love with that you guys had a very deep connection and you see them moving on and they're they're having no problem moving on it makes you it makes you sick to your stomach because all you wanted was a relationship with the moon you also have fears right you not only think about the emotions you have um that are based around the hierophant the kind of commitment that you imagine yourself the kind of leap of faith you imagine for yourself but there's also this mental entrapment with the moon you have fears you have the shadow side you have these illusions these misconceptions almost that you have surrounding marriage and long-term commitment that that as much as you want a commitment even maybe it's with this person maybe it's with someone else in the future but you realize now that there's this jadedness around what relationships mean to you in the past you had the lovers could have been dealing with a gemini the results from this it was very it was heavily sex based right if you might have found out in the recent past that the relationship you guys shared was really only about sex it meant more for you you wanted the hierophant you wanted something long standing with the sun you know here we've got you know we've got a union we've got a couple here but at the same time in the traditional rider weight the sun also has a picture of a of a baby you know so there's this you know there is this desire for you guys putting in this work taking your time together with temperance really trying to make things work putting in the work trying to combine your two lives together only to find out that it couldn't be um it couldn't be combined right unfortunately the angel wasn't able to combine the contents of the two cup in your situation in your two cups in the situation 
And so while you had all of this work that you were putting in, you're wondering now if, now that you're single, you're wondering how in the heck are you able to heal as a single person? How are you, how will you be able to find happiness single when you were so fulfilled with this person before? But the answer to that cancer is that what you guys had was sex-based. Maybe you wanted more, but they didn't. And that's where the strength comes in. You need to realize, yeah. So, all right. So coming in, you're going to have this transformation, this death, this death of sex only. You know, you might be moving forward now. If you're moving into the future with a Scorpio, they are going to want more than just sex with you. You guys might have this passion up front, but they don't want just sex. They want everything that you want. They want everything that you want. They want love. They want commitment. They want passion. Right, Cancer? But if not, this is you transforming. This is you realizing that you're not going to accept the Ace of Wands by itself anymore. Not into the future. Exactly. Your intuition is leading you. You're, to me, I almost imagine, you know, with the High Priestess, you have this crypt of knowledge. And with the Ace of Wands, it's almost, it's giving me the feeling of the Ace of Swords, where there's this clarity. You know, you feel like you are in the dark. But while you're transforming, you are using this flame, this ambition, this inspiration, this inward knowledge. You're using it to enlighten the information that's been in front of you this whole time. With the moon you have in your mind, you've been obscuring the facts maybe. Or you've been, you know, you've been trapped kind of like in the dark. Things have been in front of you. It may have been in front of you, but you were wearing the rose-colored glasses. And things are just really hard to decipher because... You were being blinded, essentially. But with the Ace of Wands, you have this spark. You have this enlightenment. You have this clarification now. You have this tool that not only are you, not only is this transformation, um, you know, very quick. It ignited very quickly. It's going, you're going to feel it and it's going, you're going to feel very impassioned by this need to change. But it's also enlightened. It's giving rise to all of these, the secrets. You're going to feel like you... You're going to feel like you've come upon some type of secret. You're going to feel like you've come upon the answer. Something's going to be illuminated to you coming in. And it's going to completely transform the way you view yourself. It's going to completely change the way that you view relationships. It's going to change the way you evaluate the human experience. Is what I'm, is what I'm understanding. You see yourself, Cancer, as the Queen of Swords and as the Queen of Cups. So for now, you're really taking the time to... Spend a little bit less time pouring your emotions out to others and more time being pickier with your emotions because there are things that you want to manifest. And you understand that the things, the tools, you have all the tools you need to manifest the future you see for yourself. But in order to do that, you have to be a little bit pickier about who you share your emotions with, who you express your emotions with, who you share your emotions with. You know, deep down inside, Cancer, you are the Queen of Cups. You have this this um, this intuition, this overpouring of this abundance of of love, of unconditional love and acceptance and understanding of people. But you see yourself as needing to be pickier because you've got business to tend to, right, Cancer? You've got things that that you're trying to achieve. This isn't just about other people anymore. This is about you bringing into your life everything you've been wanting to manifest. You're done with this. You feel, you know that there's there's some hardship in getting over the past. But coming in, there's a transformation. Coming in, you are going to, you're going to be death. You're going to be both the end and the beginning of something incredible. With the Ace of Wands, you have this inspiration, this creativity, this drive, this ambition. You're a shit starter, uh, Cancer. You are going to be getting things going. The ball is going to be rolling. You know what you want now. You know what? I have a feeling this tower is going to be it. This tower is going to be great. And I feel like you knew that this tower was going to come down. If anything, you might have set that tower on fire yourself. With the Ace of Swords, it's in your environment. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. With the King of Pentacles on the Chariot, you definitely are coming into, you're coming into stability. But above all, you are moving forward there's not just a um you know let me let me just get over this relationship you're saying no you know what relationships are great and this relationship just sucked but every relationship that i have has taught me something you know there's this sense of taking what was hurtful taking what brought you down what brought your vibration down and it's moving forward in this sense of greater stability you have evolved this situation that you're coming out of cancer or this situation that you're afraid of letting go of because being single can be really scary it's bringing 
It's bringing towards you this huge illumination, this greater stability, this sense of being able to fearlessly, fearlessly move forward because now you have the truth. Now you have the answer. If anything, if this is with, between you and another person, right? What you guys have is going to be transforming. There's going to be a communication here that's going to drive the relationship forward. And yeah, maybe you guys are going to have to cut some things out. Maybe you're going to have to explain your feelings a little bit better. Maybe there's going to have to be a, a recompactment of how you guys present your emotions to each other. Or maybe there's some misunderstandings you guys had in the past that need to be worked through. But either way, progress is going to be driven forward. Here in the fears, you have the Knight of Cups. You might be afraid that someone's going to withhold emotion from you. Yeah, but this is a self-doubt. This is self-sabotaging, Cancer. You're afraid of something that doesn't exist. You're worried about something that doesn't exist. This is all you, Cancer. You're afraid that a love offer won't come in. Or you're afraid that in terms of love, you are at a standstill. Or that someone's going to withdraw their emotion from you. That is all in your head. There is no reason to be worried. If you're dealing with someone, they want to communicate with you, right? If you have someone in your, in your who you are in a relationship with, not the past relationship. If you were dealing with a past relationship, it was sex only and that's all it was. If you're in a current relationship though, this is a relationship that you are feeling jaded, like insecure about. This is a relationship that you're feeling insecure about. Um, I'm going to clarify... Let me see this Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords with the Nine of Cups. This is you. Yeah, okay, this is you. So this is you having put in a lot of hard work and patience into something. And it's this, this is, this is self-healing, right? I'm going to say that if you are with another person, Cancer, you're feeling, you're, you're feeling a little bit insecure about the relationship that you guys have because you have a lot of self-healing to do. You have a lot of inward, like inner work to do you have a lot of hang-ups right now from the last relationship that you were with and it's taking you a lot of strength to not only admit it to yourself but to move forward knowing that healing needs to be done but you are going to be coming into something extremely important some type of important download some type of realization that you're going to have and it's going to transform you you are literally going to die to your old self and become brand new you are recreating yourself cancer this is going to be particularly true if the message comes in the form of a Scorpio friend or a Scorpio, a Scorpio person. If you do meet a Scorpio that is coming in, this person in particular is going to help you transform. Something about them is going to make you realize that sex is not the only thing that can be offered in a relationship. This fear of not having love coming towards you or that it's going to come towards you but it's not really as authentic as you think it's going to be, it, no, that's a, that's a worry that you have and there's no real reason right now to believe it. Your, your reason is that in the past it wasn't so, right? But that's only accurate for that one case. There are plenty of people who can, who can approach you with a, with a strong offer of love, an authentic, true offer of love and it wouldn't be, really be fair. Um, for, for you to, to mirror your past onto them, right? It's understandable, right, Cancer? It's understandable. But with that logic, you won't trust any person ever again. And I think you're going to realize that this month. You're going to realize that and you're going to move away from this. Because here in the tower moment, in the outcome, you have this enlightenment. Yes, this judgment, this decision to move past something. Again, with the Queen of Swords, you're making a decision. You have this clarity, this truth, this five of cups. You have this sense of, look, you have the two of cups sitting in front of the person. So even though the other three are drifting off, right? The past cups, the things that have that have emptied out, they're, they're floating away. But in this particular deck, this person is looking at the two of cups in front of them. They're looking at what is left. They're not worried about what has gone. There's a, fo there's a focus on being in the here and now. There's a focus here on with the tower having this enlightenment. The tower is going to be a complete reconstruction of the way you perceive love and the way you perceive relationships with people and with yourself. With the judgment, you have this revival of love. There's so much water in this card. Look, there's so much water. You have an angel coming down, blowing their trumpet out over these people, and they're so joyous. They're so they're so happy. They're so enlightened, so elated, right? There's this sense of it's only you and the divine. It's only you and your intuition. It's only you and your love. Everything here, any, anything else really doesn't matter. With the tower, you realize there's an epiphany that you have. That you realize that all that matters is what's here right now. That everything else that was in the past may have hurt you. But 
what it brought you, the gifts it left behind, is so much more valuable and so much more powerful that it gives you the strength to move forward in this transformation with yourself. With the Four of Swords, you're going within. Look at this. With the Five of Swords, you do have defeat, right? So maybe in the past you felt defeated, but see, with the strength you overcome this defeat. And with the Ace, with the Ace of Pentacles, you have this new beginning. You can plant the seed within your own mind to move forward and become a different version of yourself, the best version of yourself right become the best version of yourself if this is the tower and again i'm going to say there there's double scorpio here so with the tower if you are dealing with another score with a scorpio cancer um you're going to find that they are going to help you along your path i feel like the only place that a partnership was really relevant in this situation was mainly in your past that's not to say that things between you and this entering person is not going to be extremely extremely deep and the connection won't be loving because it most definitely will you've got the queen of cups you've got death coming in as a transformation it could be a person right you've got the queen of swords who while some people will say the queen of swords tends to be a scorned queen in this particular deck she's just a queen that knows her worth she just knows a queen that knows what she wants and is really really not willing to um give any more time or energy to something than it's willing to put back to her right it's very the queen of swords is very decisive she doesn't waste that much time she's patient enough but doesn't go above and beyond to sacrifice her own integrity for someone else right in case you are um expecting someone to come in let's see okay let's see what we've got here for cancer please but this is beautiful cancer you are I'm mind blown because I don't know if you understand. I don't know if you understand like all of these court cards and major arcana. This is incredible. You're undergoing a huge transformation. This is within yourself. No one. This amount of transformation doesn't happen from anyone else. People would like to think that they have this much power over another person, but that's the ego. When you ego trip, that's what you want. The ego tells you that you have way more power and influence over someone's life than they actually do. This is all occurring within you, Cancer. And whether another person is involved or not is because you allowed their opinion and their input to matter that much. Right? But uh, nothing gets nothing gets um nothing gets to affect your life that much without your permission. You deserve love. Yes, you do. And see, you're going you're transforming. I'm getting this See, and very soon at the bottom, I'm getting this this image of almost like, you know, a butterfly in its cocoon right before it comes out and becomes a butterfly. You know, you're going within, you're doing the work, you've been putting in the work, you've suffered enough, and soon you're going to be within yourself, right? The retreat doesn't necessarily have to be separating yourself within the 3D world out into nowhere. It can help facilitate that, but the real retreat is within yourself. You are going into solitude. You are spending time alone. You are doing the reflection you need. And what you're going to find is that you not only deserve love, but you are love. There's this there's this illumination. Like I'm so, for me, I am most touched by the combination of the death with the Ace of Wands and the High Priestess. I feel like this moment you're going to see very clearly Cancer. You're going to see very clearly the kind of person you need to become. You're going to see, you're going to understand why all excuse me why all of this other stuff had to happen you're going to realize now there is so much purpose and so much drive your image of what you want in the future is crystal clear now because of what happened in the past it's crystal clear where you might you know you have some scraped knees now but you are ready to fly you are ready to you know the what you've done what what has happened to you in the past was a minor inconvenience compared to the distance you're about to cover right now. After all of this healing and all of this this inner work, this strength that you're harnessing, you can't compare it to anything else. It was worth it, Cancer. Okay? It was worth it. It hurt. It sucked. And everything that you're thinking about right now in terms of love or loving yourself or being single or how things went down with this other person or, oh no, what does it mean now to be in a committed relationship? Can I really commit to somebody or can someone really commit to me? Understand that these are all normal things. Your brain is going to be going through all of these thoughts and it's normal because of the situation that you just went through with this person and that you just got out of, right? It's going to be very normal. But you also have to put your foot down. 
and be strong and realize that it was all for a reason. Because what you're coming into now is a new chapter of your life. Like for real, for real. Like everyone's talking about the beginning of the year, January 2019, 2019, when you, you know, the, the numerology is three, which, you know, is like the Trinity, it's creation, it's, it's bringing your life. This is supposed to be like the luckiest year for all of us, right? But y whereas some people might have felt that coming into 2019, and some people may not feel it until mid to end 2019, you, Cancer, are going to be feeling it like right about now. Right about now, like right now, the, the first half of January, maybe even until the end of January, you're going to be feeling kind of like this lag, this lag or like not being 100% sure if if you're the only one that's like missing on the boat of people who are having a great 2019, you know, like, no, no, I missed the boat on that one. I guess I'll wait till 2020. No, it, you know, it was a little bit delayed. You had some things to wrap up. Destiny, fate, the divine had different plans for you. They needed you to finish this now because what you've got coming in, like this is about to rock your whole damn world. I can't even express to you with all these major arcana and all of like you might have with these with these court cards as well. You might have people who come into your life that you're just going to you're going to say to yourself, how did I get so lucky? Like, how did I get so lucky? Like these people are going to be your greatest mentors, your greatest teachers, your, 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 you know, the deepest connections you make, your, your closest friends. Like your life is blooming cancer. Like if you don't feel it yet, if you don't feel it yet, you are going to feel it very soon. You're going to feel it so very soon, Cancer. And I'm so happy for you because you do deserve love. And you do need a little bit of time to maybe go within and see how you can make peace with yourself. Because you were not at fault for anything that happened at all. You were not at fault for anything. This happened the way it happened so that you could take this knowledge and move forward. Because you are strong, Cancer. You're sensitive. You know, you're a child at heart. I love my Cancers so much. You guys you guys make my heart sing. Your, your spirit and your, you know, your childlike attitude it always makes me smile my closest friend is a cancer i love him to death you know you guys are amazing you guys are incredible and i can understand how someone like when someone hurts you it just cuts you so deep but now is the time to get up now is the time to get up because you know why this is all in preparation for who you're going to become you cancer are meant for great things you are this is preparing you for the life of your dreams imagine Imagine if everything that has happened to you up to this point has just been happening for you, right? Imagine if it's just been happening for you to equip you with the skills, to equip you with the experience that you're going to need to be able to handle these amazing, huge blessings into your life. Cancer, cancer, listen to me, <laughs> cancer, listen to me. This is amazing, okay? It's okay to feel the way you feel. It's okay to be hurt. It's okay to spend some time thinking about the past, mulling it over, hashing it, rehashing it, watching some sad romantic comedies. It's okay to call your friends and, you know, just be like, this is terrible. Let me cry with you. It's okay to let it out. You have to let it out. That's okay. But when you have, when you have, when you get that feeling like the tears have run out or now it's becoming a little bit, you're, you're prolonging the process, the grieving process, and now you just, you don't know what to do. It's just becoming a habit to be sad. You cut it off. Snip, snip. <laughs> snip, snip. Use your strength, okay? Because you're really, you're, you're in there. You're in there, Cancer. This was supposed to happen. This was supposed to happen because you have... And I can't, t I can't even tell, this could be a person, this could be an opportunity, this could just be inner growth and a, real, a realization that shakes your world, it's going to leave you shook because you have all, you have, you have the magician here, you know, you've got this complete evolution and manifestation and recreation of who you are, what your life looks like, who gets invited into your life, your whole vibration has changed. Cancer, I love you so much. You deserve everything that's coming in. Please stay positive. This was meant to happen. Yes, it hurt, but because of it, you are becoming stronger, you are evolving, and you are about to usher in your best life. Everything that has been happening to you has really just been happening for you, okay? I'm telling you, this tower moment is nothing to be afraid of. This tower moment is the epiphany that changes you from the core. It changes the entire way you handle situations, the way you handle 
your internal environment, the way you handle your perceptions of things, people, places, things, like everything, okay? All right, I'm going to stop. You guys have me so passionate right now because I'm so excited for you, Cancer. Seriously, like I just, I can't. I can't. Okay, you guys, please, I want to know. I seriously, Cancer, this is amazing. You are amazing. I love you. My heart swells with joy for you, okay? Do not be afraid. Do not be down for too long because you have amazing things to do with these gifts that were left behind. These are not scars. These are battle tools, right? This is These are the tools that you're going to use to build the future that's coming in for you. These are the materials to create your brand new amazing self and life. Keep going. Keep going. You're right there. There's this clarity that's coming in. Oh my God, cancer. I love you. I'm going to go. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Okay, please let me know down in the comments below how everything works out for you. Please let me know if this resonates. I want to know. I, I want nothing but the best for you guys. And this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing complete a complete overhaul of your life. So please comment below. I want to know. I love you guys so much. Okay, take care. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below if this message resonated with you, if you got anything from it. Cancer, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I'm going to see you next time, okay? I'll see you guys. Bye, Cancer.